The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. Six, five, four, three, two, Atlas engine ignition, one, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket carrying the... The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and a single solid rocket booster ignite to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins its initial pitch, yaw, and roll maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic loads. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 57 seconds. At 69 seconds, the vehicle experiences maximum dynamic pressure. The solid rocket booster is jettisoned in less than two and a half minutes. As it approaches booster engine cutoff, the Atlas V is burning propellant at the rate of 1,672 pounds per second, traveling at over 12,000 miles per hour, and located 62 miles in altitude and 188 miles downrange. Booster engine cutoff occurs about four minutes after liftoff. The booster stage is jettisoned six seconds later. The first Centaur main engine start takes place 10 seconds after booster separation. The payload fairing is jettisoned about eight seconds later. The vehicle now weighs just 6% of what it did at liftoff four and a half minutes earlier. Cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs just over 12 minutes after launch. The mission now enters a 21-minute coast phase. At 33 minutes 48 seconds, the Centaur main engine is restarted. This burn will last nearly six minutes. Following the second Centaur main engine cutoff at 40 minutes 38 seconds, the mission enters a final 15-minute coast phase. At 55 minutes 37 seconds, Centaur releases NASA's OSIRIS-REx on its way to its rendezvous with the asteroid Bennu.